We're so excited to be doing shadow again with Brianna. Shadow plays are a super fun way to not only exercise our performance skills and that kind of our creativity, but also our visual art skills. And it's really great to be able to use our brains in both of those two ways together. So the last time we were playing with shadows, we used a couple of these little paper props. These are made just out of paper, and as you can see, I've taped them onto pens. But what I didn't show you last time, that I actually just printed these pictures off the internet. My little aunt as well, because my drawing skills are not that good. And then for my waves, I did not print these out, and I also was very, very silly. And I didn't even think to draw them first. And so as you can see, these first couple waves look pretty good. And then they get a little wonky in the middle, because I kind of forgot what I was doing. So I would definitely recommend drawing what you want to cut before you cut it. But you can also use things that are already made. So I have a little floating dragonfly. I also have this super funny little leaf patch. Another great option you probably have in your house are stuffed animals. There's a couple things we need to do to these things that already exist in order to make them the most usable. So I will show you how to do that as well. So let's start with paper props. I have a great big paper bag. I'm gonna use my paper bag to help make my paper props because that way I can recycle. And this time I'm gonna follow my own advice and I'm gonna draw first. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. Ta-da! And then I actually want a whole bunch of these for a prop I'm gonna to make today. I'm just gonna trace the first one I made. Raindrops galore! It's pouring! All right, that was silly. Now I lost some. <laughs> I found it. I'm gonna come back to my raindrops in just a second. While I am cutting things out, I'm also gonna cut myself out an extra bug or two. It's totally okay to match homemade props with things you found in your house. And the other great thing about making shadow props is you can make them any size you want. Even if we want something to look ginormous on our screen, we can make it a little bit smaller and easier for us to cut out and to manage. So with these paper props now, I wanna make them uh, into something that I can use and that's gonna look really cool. And my raindrops into a shadow rainstorm. So I have this funny little paper tube and then I'm also gonna need some thread. You cut yourself a little length. And then I am gonna both tie and tape this thread to my stick. So I'm gonna tie it on first so that it's a little bit secure. For this, I'm just gonna use a little piece of scotch tape. I don't want the thread to slide around on whatever I've tied it to. And now I'm gonna repeat that two more times. Making sure as I go, of course, that all of my threads dangle in the same direction. And I want them just a little bit spaced out from each other. And there we go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to attach all of our raindrops to our pieces of thread. I'm gonna take individual raindrops and I'm just gonna tape them onto my thread. Now I'm gonna repeat that 11 more times. I'm also gonna take my little bug and my scissors, poke just a little hole, and then I'm gonna take my thread through that hole. My butterfly can just gently float past. My little leaf patch that I have, you could also totally cut one out, tie it on like this. But this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different before I cut my thread. And I'm gonna wrap that thread around the marker and I'm gonna give myself just a little piece of tape on top of that so I don't lose where my end is. Find yourself some old cardboard. We wanna make sure we're recycling, reducing, and reusing as much as we can. Cardboard can be a little bit harder to cut than paper, so don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. And there we go. I just threw a whole ton of pieces of cardboard on my floor while I was making that. I'm gonna take a quick pause to go clean up. Don't forget to hydrate. If you have a sheet protector like this one, we can change the color of our shadow screen. So I'm gonna take this sheet protector and this marker, and I'm just gonna color my sheet protector blue. Voila! Now we're ready to take a look at what this is gonna look like on our shadow screen. 
Now that we are all set up, it's time to take a look at what some of these props look like. First, our rainstorm. So mine probably could have been a little bit longer, but that's okay. So now we're gonna use our sunshine to change the weather. And I'm gonna use my sun to do what's called scooping. So I'm gonna take my prop, I'm gonna reach out nice and far away from me, and I'm gonna scoop it down towards the light so it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And as I do that, I'm gonna lift the rain out of there, and then I'm gonna scoop the sun all the way through. I can also use my colored sheet protector with my rain to help give it just a little bit more of a rainy day feel. Now for my bugs, I want them to be able to fly. So I'm gonna hold my leaf out, and I'm gonna nice and slowly unroll him. And then of course, we remember from last time, our waves hide my body so that I can be down here, my little narwhal. So how is all of this going to affect our story? Let's find out. <laughs> Looks like it's a rainy day. Oh, but wait! Here comes the sun! And with all that rain gone, now there's some bugs flying around. Oh, it might be a little windy though. Looks like some leaves flying around too. Splash! Right into that water. should continue let me know I have even more shadow tips and tricks that I want to share with you but I would love to use your ideas to keep this story going